All right, so in this video, we are going to look at how to use stylish cost calculator to um, recreate this this cost calculator right here, which is basically using uh, square feet. Uh, in order to get square feet, I went online and I researched a website that suggests uh, square feet is when you multiply length times width to calculate um, a square footage. For example, if something is 12 feet by 20 feet, then it's 240 square feet. So we can easily do this with Stylish Cost Calculator. Let's go ahead and type in um, lawn care calculator or square foot. And we're going to create a calculator from scratch. In order to, to do this, we need to be able to use the uh, variable math uh, element. So by default, you get the drop down. We can go ahead and delete the drop down and we're going to add the variable math, which allows us to, um, to enter our own stuff. So we're going to call it sod calculator for now. And we're going to make them inputs and not sliders. Just like here, these are input boxes and we got front yard and a backyard, and then it's already asking for square feet. So there's two ways we can do this. We can calculate the square feet for them, or we can just simply ask them for their length and their width, and then we can do it that way. So those are your two options. Let's go, let's do it this way where we make it more simple for the for the user. So we're gonna do uh, front yard as the square feet. Actually, we're gonna have to do two separate, two separate ones. So we're gonna have to call this front yard. Um, and then we're going to call that front yard square feet. Okay. Um, it just ignore this, this, this value right here, because we can use the variable math as a calculator of square feet and not just as a uh, quantity. So just ignore this right here. Uh, so now we just have to do uh, the calculation, uh, the calculation basically Oh, I guess the user is already entering in square feet, so we don't actually have to do the calculation there. Uh, we just have to say what the uh, value is going to cost uh, for the square feet. So, for example, here, if we do 100 square feet, it's $958. So if I pull up a calculator and do 958, divided by 100, I'm guessing they're charging $9.58 per square foot. So let's just go ahead and type in that as a value. And let's see so far if it's working. So we have to get rid of the input one plus input two because it's by itself. There you go, $958. So that's, that's working so far. So far that's working. Um, this can actually just be a simple, now that I think about it, we could have actually done this another way. We can do it uh, with the quantity input box because this is just a standard, um, this is just the standard uh, quantity input box, to be honest with you. It's just $9.58 for each. Um, and if you want to do a max quantity, you can go down to, um, if you want to do max quantity, and then you would just go here, put in the min value and the max value if you don't want to sell more than, let's say, um, 9,000 square feet or something like that. Um, yeah, that's how you do that. So let's go ahead and save that there. So this here is your um, variable math element. And then here is your, um, so if you do 100 again, it's, it's 958. So this is just keeping things nice and simple. Uh, if you do the detailed list, you'll see here that the front yard is, they have 100 square feet. Uh, you're getting charged nine dollars and fifty eight cents for that, and that's your price. Uh, you can add tax to that. You can do whatever you want. You can add a cute little banner, your logo, the dates. You can add an invoice number right here if you want to append an invoice number. Um, you can do all kinds of cool stuff. If you can also, if you want, you can delete this and delete that and just have that. You can do all that stuff under our calculator settings right here. Uh, here's all the settings that you can use. It might feel a little bit overwhelming seeing all these settings, but it makes our product uh, really customizable.
Um, and then again, if you did, a, let's say you did 125 here, just to show you the difference, um, it's going to be this one here. It just shows you as one unit because uh, it's doing the math for you. So you're buying one of the front yard. So I guess that's the difference between using the um, variable math element to do the calculation or the, um, uh, the, the variable math versus the quantity input box. Uh, I'm going to show you a different way. Let's just say, for example, you want to do the, uh, you want the person to type in their length um, and then also their width. Well, this is how you would do it. Um, you would get the person to type in their length and width. You would just mark down the value would be one. Um, the max quantity you can put down 9,000 if you want. Uh, and then here's when you would do uh, input one plus times input two uh, is the math. Uh, and then you can times that by the $9.58. Uh, so that you're you're doing the math of how much it is per square foot. So you're taking square feet and then your times in the square feet. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Um, so you would do, let's say, um, 50 plus 150 square feet, or let's just do, let's do 10 square feet by 12 square feet. So that'd be, that's the math right there, because if we do, uh, 10 times 120, that's 1,200 square feet. Uh, and 1,200 square feet times the $9.58 uh, gives you your your total. So this is if you want to do it that way. And then I showed you the other way where if you want the user to be able just to type it in for them. So that's the end of this video. Um, it just shows you a little bit of how to use the, the custom math. We also have a couple other cool features with the variable math, I mean. Uh, you can enable a price hint, which is nice and cool. Uh, you can show the calculation on the front end um, and show the item on detail list. So I'll show you what that does. Let's say you did the 10 by 12. Uh, the price hint here is, is a feature where as you go like this, the, it kind of shows you a price hint. Uh, and then also the other calculation too is if you want to add it to the right side of your uh, form. So these are just some, some options uh, to customize your calculator further.